Hello fellow collectors and welcome to Long's Toys. Today we are taking a look at Change Heroes 2 Kaiser, Oren form and Shinken form set from Kikai Sentai Zenkaiger. Packaging pretty similar to the rest of the line. And it does of course show how you can form Oren form and Shinken form. On the back, not really too much else going on. Again, just showing the different forms. Then you have your usual warnings and such below. So pretty simplistic packaging, but it looks good. Happy to finally get two Kaiser in this uh, line. So let's go ahead, let's get him out of the box, and let's take a closer look. So here he is out of the packaging. Looks pretty good. Definitely made from a Soto body, just like Zen Kaiser. Paint applications are pretty good. Unfortunately, you can see here on the boot and the glove cuffs, it does cut off halfway, which is kind of a bummer. But at least the hands are fully painted. And the front looks good. Head sculpt looks good. He does have the 35 there with the two swords for Gokaiger. Unfortunately, he does not come with alternate heads. There's no way to swap that out. So even when you do the other form changes, it's still just going to say 35. Would have been nice if they included other heads, but unfortunately they did not. Now mine actually came with a, a big piece of flashing. You can see uh, where the two connection points there on the collar. Uh, this piece was actually attached and I had to break it off, which I thought was kind of hilarious that they left that in the packaging, but uh, if that happens, you know, just break it off like a like a mini plot or something like that. This piece comes completely off, which we're going to need to do for the form changes, but it fits on pretty snugly. It's not going to fall off or anything. If you try to move the shoulder pieces, sometimes they can get a little loose, but you just push it down. These are on little ball joints. They don't really do much more than a hinge, but it is technically a ball joint. Uh, you have a ball joint here at the base of the skull. You have a swivel there at the base of the neck. You have a swivel and hinge in the shoulder. You can actually pull these out a little bit, I guess, just for more uh, movement. You have a bicep swivel. This is kind of the older Soto body, so you can actually bend the elbows backwards a little bit. You have a wrist swivel, because these usually just unpeg. Yeah, he's got, he's got the new hands with the ball joint, though, so that's nice. So you can actually kind of get some movement there, or just kind of pop it all the way in. He's got a waist swivel, ball joint in the hip thighs swivel uh pretty much i would say a little over 90 degrees there in the knee you can actually bend forward a little bit as well and then you have a ball joint in the ankle but yeah overall he looks good he comes with two versions of the gear to linger you have the standard gun mode and then of course you have the blade mode and then they just peg into his hands We'll give them both at the same time, even though that's not possible. I think the blade mode's a little bit more successful. I don't know why that just, it looks a little awkward in his hand. I kind of wish it was maybe at an angle or something. Maybe if they had angled the piece so he would hold it a little bit more naturally, but it is what it is. So overall, it's a pretty good figure. I'm going to bring in uh, Zen Kaiser just for a little comparison here. You can see they're about the same size. They look good together. I'm happy with them. Let's go ahead. Let's get into the form changes. So each form comes with two pieces. Uh, for Oren form, we have another uh, kind of shoulder piece that's going to be exactly like the one that he has. Just kind of frictions into place. And then you also get a belt piece. Now, if you're familiar with Soto, you're no stranger to this piece. It pegs in the back, and it's a way that they've been doing kind of skirts for years. So nothing new there. So basically just going to go ahead, pop his head off. It might be possible to get this piece off without taking the head off, but it's just much easier if you do. And then we're just going to go ahead and friction that into place. Pop the head back on. And then come around to the back. You want to make sure you open this up so you have clearance. Just peg that into the back. And then this is going to kind of close up. And they'll meet together to form the skirt. The paint on the O-Ranger symbols I think is pretty good. They did a nice job with that. Now you can of course open this up if you want to give him some crazy kicks, but then it's going to look a little awkward if you want to kind of keep this together. It does hinder the movement a little bit, but again, you can move it. But yeah, looks pretty cool. And they actually got some blue all the way around, which I appreciate. I'm assuming this section was probably supposed to be blue as well, but it just kind of stops halfway, which is not great, especially when it doesn't with the shoulders, but you know, more paint's better than no paint. So we're going to go ahead, pop this off, and then take this one off, like so. And then we have the skirt piece here for the Shinken form. 
go ahead and peg that in and then bring these in. Now these don't touch in the center. They're not meant to. So just like that. And then you actually have kind of a vest. So you have to take this and unpeg it from each other and then push it on. And it, it fits in pretty snugly, I have to say. And then go ahead and pop that on there and then pop the head back on. Now this one you definitely could leave the head on because of the way it opens. But there you go, there is Shinken form. We'll give him the sword. So pretty cool, and this is nicely painted. We actually have red all the way around, which I really appreciate. You got the Shinkenjo symbol there on the back, molded in, which is pretty cool. So yeah, this form looks pretty cool. I like both of them, honestly. I can't decide which one's my favorite. I really like the blue for the Oren form, but I kind of like the more completeness of the Shinken form with the full vest and everything, so I can't decide. Really wish they gave us different heads, though. Would have been nice, but I understand from a budget standpoint. Can't really do that. But yeah, overall, I think both forms look pretty good. So overall, I think this is a pretty solid figure. Another excellent entry into the Change Heroes series. Um, it's not perfect. I mean, obviously, there. I wish there were a few more paint applications. I wish the cuffs went all the way around. I wish he came with alternate heads because the helmet crest does change depending on which form he's in. But again, I get it. You know, to from a budget standpoint to kind of stay within the realm of affordability, they cut a few corners, and I get it. I do also think that this is just not the best. I know they it's molded well. It's just the way he holds it. I think it looks a little weird. It doesn't really come off as a gun. Maybe if they could have made, you know, the barrel a little bit longer or something, or over accentuate some of that in the, those features there. And I don't know. It just this isn't as successful. I think the sword looks pretty good, especially when paired with the Shinken form. So I think it's a nice figure. I'm sure he's going to show up later on in the Yudo line. So we'll have to do a comparison when that happens. And you know maybe that one will have that one will have stickers. So we'll probably have a little bit more in terms of you know the the cuffs will probably be all the way around because there'll be stickers. And I'm hoping the weapons get a little better. But it's very possible they might just reuse the weapons. So we'll have to wait and see when that comes out. But overall, if you're looking for just a cool little affordable two Kaiser figure, I think this thing is definitely the way to go. You have all three forms. They look good. And, you know, for the most part, paint applications are pretty good. And if you, hopefully you don't get any weird flashing on it like I did, but it's easy enough to remove. I definitely recommend picking it up. If you want to wait for the Udo, I get it. But I think in the meantime, this is a pretty good representation of two Kaiser here. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And as always... Thanks so much for watching.